Remember this? Or maybe you've only heard about it in stories. The sound of the internet being born. But way before that, the story of computers was massive. Picture this, 1946, the first electronic computer, ENIAC. It wasn't something you could put on a desk. It was the size of a room, weighing 30 tons, and filled with 18,000 vacuum tubes that would constantly burn out. Its job calculating artillery firing tables. And its memory could hold, get this, about 20 numbers. Not 20 photos, 20 numbers. Fast forward through decades of nerds and geniuses shrinking everything down. Transistors replaced vacuum tubes. Integrated circuits packed more and more power into smaller and smaller chips. Then boom, the 80s and 90s. The beige box arrives in our homes, the personal computer. Suddenly, we could play games, write documents, and eventually dial up to the World Wide Web. It was revolutionary, but still clunky. But we didn't stop there. We demanded more. We wanted our digital world with us all the time. So we put computers in our laps, then in our bags. And now, now the device you're probably watching this on, your smartphone, has millions of times more power than the 30-ton beast that started it all. We've literally gone from a computer the size of a room to a universe in our pocket. Makes you wonder, what's next?